This video is brought to you by Skillshare. There's a link down in the description where you can get two free months of Skillshare, so check it out. P.S. I did not learn these animation skills on Skillshare. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm 1000. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington, and I'm back with another weird video idea. All right, so here's the thing. I've got a bit of a moderate following online. My Instagram, my YouTube. There's a decent amount of you folks who kind of keep an eye on me, follow along with what I got going on, check out my content, check out my art, which is awesome. And with that, I see a lot of posts every single week of people tagging me where they've taken my art and redrawn it or used my art as inspiration, which to me is pretty dope, especially when they do it the right way. They say, hey, this was originally drawn by 10 hundred. I'm inspired by him. I'm going to tag him. I'm going to at him. I want him to see my art being inspired by another artist and trying their style. It's probably an important step in developing your own style. Back in the day, I certainly probably borrowed a little bit too heavily from some of my art heroes on my journey to find my own style. So hats off to you fine folks who are doing it the right way, shouting me out, tagging me, letting me know you're copying my art. But I thought today it would be fun if I flip the screen grip on them. <laughs> so they're taking my art and doing it in their own style. And you know what? I'm going to go on their page, find one of their pieces of art and recreate it in my style. Payback time, baby. <laughs> so yeah, let's pop over to my Instagram and take a look at some of these folks and see if I can... Uh get them back a little bit and copy their art. All right, so here we are over on the Instagram. I'm on my tagged tab. I get a lot of this kind of stuff. They're using Gox's art as inspiration and they tag me. Like I have probably more Gox art tagged as me than my own art. <laughs> Shout out Gox. He's killing it. His videos are awesome. Like we got this Gox one, this Gox one. So many. <laughs> you guys, I'm not Gox. Ah! So let's find one where someone has taken one of my characters and made it into their own style. Who Who's gonna be my first victim? <laughs> uh, so here's one. This is actually super tight. Clark. Cunt. <laughs> this is sick. So you know we got this cat hood going here. There's the backpack, the little buttons, a lot of the kind of visual elements. They have really adapted this style and made it super sick. So let's see where. Let's try and find peace. Ooh, this little robot's kind of fun. What else? What else? What else? Got a little bomb. Got a little robot Jones. Oh. I'm liking this guy. This is like me as a cat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Another fat cat doodle. Mm hmm. My first victim. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for your art. <laughs> All right, let's jump into this. All right, so we gonna get down on this fat cat doodle. All right. Got this big, big fella. Give him a little nose here. Some ears. Yeah, fat cat doodle. And he's got these big old chunky glasses. Got this sweet halo going here. I like sleepy cats, so I'm gonna draw him real sleepy. Oh man, he's sleepy. Get that hoodie going. The drawstrings just blowing in the breeze. No big deal. Fat cat be chilling. Little breezy. No big deal. Fat cat be chilling. He's so chill, he can't even keep his tongue in his mouth. Now I can't tell on the original what the hoodie says. D-A-W-D-B-A-W-B, -B -A -W -B. Bob, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it say Bob. Oh yeah, he's got some chicken. He's kicking it, giving some instigators, chilling on his shoulder. Yeah, his sweater just says, yeah, it's all good, bro. Yeah, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, man. Oh yeah, this dude is chilling, Bob. All right, let's bring this guy into Procreate and see if we can make him even cooler. Now, I think I want to make his head just a little bit bigger just to really accentuate the whole vibe of the fat cat. So we're just going to grab all of this and just make that just full on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. All right, let's jump into some inkings. I'm going to grab my technical pen, add a bit of jitter to this so it looks a little bit more like a real pen. And we are off and running. <laughs> Okay, next one. Halter underscore draws got inspired by Ten Hun. So I draw this. This is cool. I can see a little bit of the influence, but it's not it's not uh, too heavy on the on the borrowing. But let's check out what else Halter draws has going on here. Oh, this stuff's pretty cool. Got some sketches and stuff. Oh, there's the colored version. The colored version. Pretty sick. So let's see. What do I want to steal from this person? <laughs> this guy's kind of fun and noodly. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll mess with this one. Just another random drawing, says Paul to draws. Guess what? This is just another random art theft. <laughs> All right, let's try this one out. 
I thought this guy was real cool because he was like super noodly, had a lot of motion, and I really liked the clothes that he had on. Kind of a suit attire. I wanted to draw that real bad. Nice job, Palter Draws. Boom. Another piece successfully stolen. Go back to my tagged page here. Who else? Who else is gonna be? Let's find some random person. Lilith underscore art junk. This was inspired by Ten Hun. He's an amazing artist from Seattle. Check him out. Thanks, Lilith Art Junk. Yeah, she's got my instigators in there. She's got my watcher in there. Uh seeing a little bit of my vibes, but she's definitely made it her own. Let's check out what else she's got going on. Ooh, got some cool stuff going on here. Let's see if I can find a piece. This is sick. Hmm. Okay, I was kind of feeling this demon girl day eight horns something simple okay maybe this was inktober october 8 yeah i think so all right lilith your art is mine <laughs> all right let's jump into this Loving the deep, dark, demon girl vibes on this one. Super fun to draw. I think Lilith like made a super dope original drawing and I was a little bit intimidated to even try and compete with her because her, her drawing is so tight. I think in the end she might have done a little bit better job than me, but you know, demon girl, here we go. This is it. Okay, next one. Creator appreciation day number 12, 10 Hun, Seattle muralist. I attempted a crow mimicking his style. Was very hard to restrain myself to such bright colors. <laughs> I love your bright colors and style. Your art is so signature. As a fellow Pacific Northwest artist and muralist, you inspire me to get my work out there, develop a style, and be bold about it. Thanks. Keep creating. Oh, that's so nice. Um, ooh, so I scrolled through their page. I'm kind of feeling this uh, mouse thing, <laughs> mouse warrior. Yeah, I'm going to try this one out. This is cool. I think I selected this one because back in the day in my childhood I used to do a lot of the red wall books and mouse warriors are definitely in my wheelhouse. Whoa. Tate Blade and Draws says another inspired by Ten Hun. Let's check him out. Oh, he's got this cool Minotaur cartoon guy. <laughs> Maybe I'll make my version of this. That's sick. All right, so let's try and uh, do this guy. Round kind of head going here and he's got these like bloobly blobbly lips. Oh yeah. I'm gonna make him into a bit more of a goo monster. He's got a big old tongue. This dude's art is tight, super clean. This is like lick -a tongue mixed with, uh, I think the Pokemon was called Muck or the Mud Monster Pokemon. <laughs> I'm gonna give him some curvy eyes, some drippy curvy eyes, floating pupil. So curvy, so drippy, drippy bro. Oh yeah. Y'all ever make sound effects when you draw? <laughs> this is about to be an ASMR channel, but like the most disgusting one. Little nose hole, drippy as ever. Then he's got these horns. Give him a little bit more roundness to his head. A little bit more space for his brain to breathe. <laughs> Ooh, goop monster. Blah, 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 blah. This guy's like, ah, I just ate something so spicy. Little spicy. Bit globules flying off into the air. Oh, it's so nasty. He's squishy. Little drips coming off of his arms. Oh, now he's the king of the drip monsters. Yeah, so he drew him with this sort of peace sign. I think maybe I'll change it to the rock on sign. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't forget the drips. Big old monster butt. <laughs> we need more drips. Doctor, 50 cc's more drips stat. It's just not drippy enough. I need more spit glo globules. All right, pop this dude into procreate. Drip him out. Here's another cool one, Boss Straws. Looks like he did a portrait of me in my kind of color palette with some, some of the instigators here. Portrait of Ten Hun featuring little dudes. He's a really dope, inspiring artist who creates sick murals and other cool stuff over on his YouTube page. For this drawing, I tried using his vibrant color palette. Sick. What does he got going on? Oh, sweet, sweetness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, bunch of sweet art. Maybe I will try this guy, <laughs> streetwear guy. All right, let me try this one.
All right, last one. Wow, this one is super cool. Dang, this started as a redraw of Ten Hun's digital piece. Swipe to see. Ooh, this is sick. So this is the piece that they use for inspiration. Snap. Oof. Dang, that's tight. I almost want to just copy their like wackest art <laughs> so that I can try and do a better job than them because this is all super tight. Oh, I'm scared. This one's super sick. Wow. All right, well, I like this little moth guy. So I'm going to try and mess with this. I mean, this is going to be a little bit hard to live up to, but let me just go for this. It's ad time. Skillshare has been a sponsor on my channel for a very long time. And if you've been following my YouTube channel for a while, you probably heard me talk about Skillshare before. So I'm going to have a little fun with this one. I'm going to read the Skillshare ad and on the fly, I'm going to try to make the whole thing rhyme. All right, here we go. <laughs> Skillshare is a super awesome online community. You can learn awesome stuff with total immunity. It's taught by the leading experts in their field. You learn some new skills and I'm keeping it real. <laughs> Skillshare is an online community that offers offers membership with meaning. And if I'm biased, I'm Skillshare leaning. You can learn new skills like drawing, painting, designing, and after you're done, you'll be happy with your skills and full on reclining. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> My animation skills are weak. I was not prepared. So I took simple character animation by Fraser Davidson from the wonderful Skillshare. <laughs> you can learn and grow with short classes that fit your routine and Skillshare is rich and delicious, just like Canadian poutine. <laughs> Oh God. At less than $10 a month, the subscription is cheap. If you did those classes in person, the price would make you weep. So click the link in the description for 60 days free. But hurry, it's only for the first 500 people. You heard it from me. First 500 people to click the link in the description get 60 days free of Skillshare. This was my awesome poem about the amazing service that is Skillshare. Check it out, support the channel. Let's get back to this artwork. All right, so just for fun, I kind of wanted to take all these drawings and combine them into one like super mega character mashup. I don't know why, just felt like doing it. Felt like it might be a good end to this video. I'm gonna create a new document here. Let's just start bringing these foos in. Swaggy boy, fat cat, goop monster, mm, the mighty night mouse. Noodly guy, demon girl. Bring that on in here. Hmm. Little, little mothman prophecy for you. I am here. Where are my friends? Bring them hither. Swaggy boy. Let's bring him in. We're gonna have to kind of hide his feet because he doesn't have any feet. Luckily, we can hide him behind the mothman. Ooh, we got our demon girl here. Ooh, that's a lot of red together with the swaggy boy and the demon girl. We're gonna have to, she'll probably be off to the side a little bit. Might have to change some of the colors on these. Now, let me delete the signature on here because it's gonna look kind of funky. Come on over, come on over, fat cat. Might need to uh, change up some of the colors on this moth guy here. Now he looks a little bit different from, and I think, let's see, my demon girl. We're gonna give her maybe some blue-gray costume instead because she's a little bit too much red, I think. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. I think we're gonna have to get rid of a uh, fat cat's halo here and then we can move demon girl maybe like a uh, drippy monster. There we go. Filling in the gaps. <laughs> okay, okay character mashup coming along. I think this guy's face should be just a little bit brighter. There we go. Ooh, the warrior mouse. I think he'll look good over here. In front of Swaggy? Yeah, in front of Swaggy, dude, for sure. Looking good. And uh, Noodly Man. Always in a hurry, Noodly Man. Slow down, bro. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Maybe throw a big circle in there. Let's throw some stars in here. Get them stars. More like bluish, so they're not so bright. Add a little bit of ground here. Put some trees in there, the best part of waking up, pine trees in your butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> cool. It's kind of fun. 
All right, a whole bunch of sweet <laughs> art theft smashed together to make something truly bizarre. And I think with that, we'll leave this video right here. Shout out to all the awesome people on Instagram. This was super fun. <laughs> Hope you guys had a good time because I certainly did. <laughs> well, that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a ton of fun copying people who copy me. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird video idea. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You guys can check out my website, 1000art.com. I got a bunch of cool merch where I do my art on t-shirts and all kinds of other apparel, as well as prints, original art, and just cool stuff all around. It's dope. Check it out. <laughs> I do free shipping anywhere in the US. International shipping is available. Thank you so, so much to my patrons who support me on a monthly basis and make videos like these possible. You guys are awesome. And a special shout out to all the folks on Instagram who uh, copied my art, but kind of did it the right way. Tagged me, shouted me out so I could find you and steal your art right back from you. <laughs> if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already, and you can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out and get alerts and stuff. Woo. That's it for me. I'm 1000. Thank you guys so much. Peace, I'm out. Boom, baby. You out this world. Peace on space. So here we are at the end of the video, and you know what that means. It's time for a random comment shout out. Where's all my 10 percenters at? 10 percenters? <laughs> According to my YouTube analytics, only 10% of people watch this far into the video. So if you're still here, you are among the elites. Anyway, let's get to a random comment. This one is from Creasio. 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 <laughs> Rufi. Oh. Creasio said, incredibly funny video. Smiley face. You just decided to do something majestically stupid. <laughs> and it transformed into something hilarious and very profitable. Well, thank you, Creasio. I, I certainly appreciate being called majestically stupid. That's a couple of uh, the greatest adjectives I could be described as. <laughs> So shout out to you, Creasio. Hope you made it to the end to see your shout out. If not, all my other 10 percenters are holding me down. So thanks to you guys. And yeah, we out. Peace, baby. You out this world. Need some space for me. I'm out here, girl.